Hi guys, I'm back with a new video. Sorry if the camera's all shaky, it is on my bed, obviously. Um, I have a new video for you guys, and it is that little thing. I made this choker, and it was inspired by kittens. Choker, kittens, cute. I don't know. I just thought it was really cute, and I used elastic, so it's stretchy. And I honestly, I'm gonna be completely real with you guys, this was so annoying to make. Like, oh my gosh, I was getting so frustrated and I don't know, but I think it looks really cute. There are a few changes that I would do. I'll let you guys know in the video what changes I would make. So if that helps you out a little, please let me know. Also, if you make something like this or if you make anything of mine, I've never mentioned this before, but if you do ever make anything of mine, please send them to me. I'd love to see pictures of what you guys do. And yeah, send them to me on Instagram, send them to me like in a private message on YouTube or whatever you want. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye. So here's everything you need. You need some elastic, some metal D-rings, a little tiny bell, and this is optional, some pliers, jewelry, which includes hoops, chains, and a hook, and then some jean rivets. You want to start off by taking your elastic and figuring out how much you need. For mine, I just cut about 9 inches. And then you want to take the ends, and of course this is optional, you can put the D-rings and fold it. And you can either just stop here and sew the end there, just put a pin and sew it down, or you can add the jean rivets, which I personally like. For the jean rivets, you just want to mark out where you want to put them, and then use some scissors to create a hole so it's going to be easier. And when I tried this the first time, then I realized that I needed a tool to put the jean rivets so it's going to be easier, so I went and bought that. And then I just assembled it according to the package instructions. As you can see here, I had a few attempts that didn't go so well. Like here it bent and then other times it bent again. So here I am trying it yet again, trying it all different ways and it just didn't work. And then finally I was able to get them so I decided to put the D-rings and then sew it up. I would recommend hand sewing though instead of using a machine. I just made a straight stitch down and then a back stitch as well just to secure it. And you want to do this on both ends. And then you want to take your bell and put it in the middle. Of course this is optional. And then you want to take the jump ring and just put it to the ends. Add the chain onto the jump ring. And close it up and just make sure it's secure. I'm taking the hook here and attaching it to the other end. That's pretty much it. You're all done. I hope you guys enjoyed the small little tutorial I have for you guys. And let me know if you guys make this, send me pictures, and I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!